So spicy chili oil, 辣椒油 I think it's one of the most important condiments when it comes to Sichuanese cooking. You can basically use it on anything like noodles, dumplings, cold dishes, and more. So today, I'm going to make spicy chili oil. Well, a complex version, easier version coming in the near future. So stay tuned. To get started, make ginger into thin slices, equivalent to one teaspoon. One stalk of scallion, chop into three by half inch cuts. These two are added to give chili oil aromatics. I'm going to use crushed Thai chili flakes. I'll leave a link in the description below, or it can be found at your local Asian market. Thai chili has a SHU range of 50,000 to 100,000, so it's pretty hot. SHU is short for Scoville heat unit. It measures the chili's pungency. The higher the SHU, the hotter it is. If you look, bell pepper being the lotus has zero, while pepper X being the hottest has a 3.18 million SHU. This is beyond spicy. We are going to need one cup. For less spicy, I recommend using half cup of Thai chilies. A half cup of red chili flakes from the grocery store. If you want even more mild recipe, I suggest purchasing whole cayenne chilies. Cut chilies open first, remove most of the seeds, and DIY do it yourself, roast and ground. Add half teaspoon of kosher salt. Give it a gentle mix. One tablespoon of paprika powder. Helps with coloring. Mix again. Sprinkle half tablespoon of sesame seeds and leave it aside. Heat your wok on heat level of six. Add two cups of canola oil. Takes about 5 minutes to heat up. Stir in between to distribute the heat. Notice oil looks thick. This indicates oil is still in room temperature. Now, hover your hand over the oil to test the heat. Another way to measure if oil is hot is dipping a chopstick into the wok. See those tiny bubbles? This means it's ready. Next. Carefully toss in the sliced ginger and scallions to avoid getting splashed with hot oil. To start anise, one 3 inch by half inch cinnamon stick, one black cardamom, one teaspoon of fennel seeds, one large bay leaf, one teaspoon of cloves. If you find my videos are helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos and future recipes. And one tablespoon of Sichuan peppercorn. Now, maintain a heat level of 6.5. Let it simmer until ginger and scallions are brown. This step takes roughly 8 to 10 minutes. While that's simmering, I'm going to check on what Zoe is up to. It's getting super hot here. So she's got her boots on. Let's get back to the oil. Scoop out the spices. Use a chapstick to test oil's heat level. And this looks good. You do not want chopsticks creating too much fast rolling bubbles. That means oil is too hot. Now, use a spoon to slowly pour hot oil onto the chili flakes. Wait for a minute and a half, and then pour the rest. So there you have it, your homemade Sichuan chili oil. It's a great condiment to have in your kitchen. Not only for Sichuanese food, but it goes basically with anything. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.